In this short video, I'll show you how to add an item to your collection in Omeka. So from the Omeka dashboard, you're going to click items on the left-hand side. You're going to click the green add an item button. In the Dublin Core tab, we're gonna enter some uh, metadata. So in the creator field, we're going to again, put our self-identification followed by our name. And this is going to be in bold. So you're gonna to need to use the use HTML button. We're going to assign a title to our work in the uh, title field. Again, we're gonna click the use HTML button and we're gonna format this in italics. So for this example, we're gonna have the title is Photograph of San Francisco. And that is in italics. We're not gonna add any information into any of the other metadata fields that you see here. It's just going to be into the creator and the title field. Next, you're gonna click the item type metadata tab. From here, you're gonna select what you're adding into your portfolio from the dropdown list. So whether it's your CV, the checklist that's required, artwork critical analysis, just select the one that matches what you're going to be adding. So for this example, we're going to do a piece of artwork. So for the artwork, we're going to fill in these metadata fields. So in the date, we're gonna do the four digit year of creation. So in this case, it's 2021. From the drop down list and medium, we're gonna select what the medium is. So the medium here is photographs. For the physical dimensions, we're gonna add those in as well. So this is five, by seven. In the identifier field, we're going to add what the file name is of the file that you're adding. And there are guidelines for how you can construct your file names at this URL. So for ours, I've already assigned a file name, so I'm going to add it in here. And that name uh, identifier that I've put in will match the file name that I'm going to add. We're also gonna add in an art credit line, um, and this is going to be in bold and italics. So we're gonna to need to use the use HTML checkbox. The guidelines for how you create credit lines are also available online through that URL. So let's go ahead and construct our credit line. So this one is gonna be John Smith. We're gonna bold. The name is going to be San Francisco. This will be in italics. The year is 2021. It's a photograph. And it's five by seven in size. So now that we've created our art credit line, and we've added the additional metadata into the item type metadata fields, we're going to add our file. So we'll go up here to the files tab, click files. Remember the maximum size of the file is 128 megabytes. If your file is larger than this, uh, it will not be able to upload into Omeka. Most files should be considerably smaller um, and there is a tutorial on how to reduce file size uh, if need be. So you would go ahead and you would choose file you would locate it on your machine, on the hard drive. You would open. You can see that the file is populated and the file name matched the identifier I added on the last screen. From here, you're going to select your collection. Keep in mind, the, the, the collections of other students will also display here. You wanna make sure that you're adding your item into your portfolio. So make sure to find your name and portfolio, select it. It will populate into the collection screen. And from here, you will hit add item. Now you've added this item into Omeka. If we go back to your collection, we can see this is the collection you started. And we now see the photograph that you just added is attached to your collection.